Do you see how quick the claws come out? The bitterness, the seething anger that men are leaving and finding happiness elsewhere where there are greener pastures. So they don't have to deal with the attitude. They don't have to deal with the delusional entitlement and the demands. None of that. They find women that are still submissive and happy. All right, let's see. Let's see some passport bro stuff. We'll just take them in order then. Woo child. Uh, passport bros. Y'all can't catch a break, baby. I was on my way home like, tonight. And I heard them talking about you on 97.9. I don't know what they're saying, but I'm pretty sure they're making fun of y'all. And I look in my comment section of every nationality, ethnicity, and country that you named. All of them are saying that they don't want you. That's got to be a hit to the ego. This is my unsolicited advice. If I was y'all, I would get off app for like 30 days, maybe 60 days when people forgot about it. I would go on a cleanse. I would exercise. I would get me a new barber. And when I came back, I would be fly as hell, have some passport stamps, and a f***ing woman. Because that's the only way y'all gonna redeem yourself. At first, it was kind of like, ha-ha funny. Now, it's just funny sad. I hope it works out for y'all. I don't want to see no com comments from none of these red pill brothers or these red pill sisters. Oh, oh you want to pick me? Um, oh, you think you bad? You not even on that? I don't want to hear none of that. Because both of y'all is wrong. I'm going to say some things that's going to trigger y'all, but guess what? It needs to be said so that you guys can heal. And we realize we need each other. Ain't nobody going to love us the way we going to love us. See, this is the reason why a lot of men are choosing to get passports and go out of seas to find a woman because most uh, of the women here in the, in the United States uh, is pretty much wicked and selfish. Uh, oh, now, perfect. for my brothers who do want a woman, there are some good women out here that can offer you um, something I do understand if you want to look elsewhere though however women the the fact that you want a man who makes more money than you that's not necessarily the problem see I want to see black people get married but the problem is is you guys want 12 percent of men only 12 percent of men make more than seventy thousand dollars a year less mm. than one percent of that is black men but considering Oof. the fact that most men don't hit that kind of earning potential until they're in their 40s um, most of those men are already going to be married. So your desires is just setting you up to get nothing at all. Nothing at all. So um, I'm just trying to get you guys to be realistic so you can at least have someone to build with. But because you're so superficial and selfish, you're never going to have that and you're going to be all alone. Mm. And to piggyback off that. He wants somebody with traditional values because he wants somebody with traditional values, which means that he wants a slave. I don't understand where is the rage from these women coming from. Why are they even surprised their men leaving when they are the one who is causing it? Okay, for all of my girlies who are considering their first hook phase, do it. Be a bitch, honey. Be that bitch. Be a boss. Hey, it's Mary Beauty. In today's video, I am going to share my opinion about this very, very controversial topic in the West, and that is why Western men are leaving the West in pursuit of love overseas. The Passport Bros is the newest mutation of the red pill community. Red pillars are males who see the present dating scene as contemporary matrix where men are programmed to lose by design. These gentlemen don't think that courting men should be a cat and mouse game. They claim that moving abroad would be preferable since there, their talents would be more valued and there would be less fighting, back bending, and hassle. And the <laughs> irony here is <laughs> some condemn this group, alleging that they solely go on vacation for tourism and to prey on women in vulnerable positions. This would be a compelling argument. But women all across the West are yelling about how they don't want to clean anymore, they don't want to cook, but instead, they have WAP, wet ass pussy. Men are spreading all over the world. I'm not gonna lie, Philippines is not an exception. If you look in the city, you'll find many women who think they don't need men because they can finance themselves and they are just into casual hookups. But this is a very, very small percentage of the female population who might be complaining about this dating politics. They are too westernized. But generally, no one complains about these issues here. We... Rocco, oh, no more of the bonnet brigade. <laughs> They're one of the reasons why we leave the West. Yep. And again, how can you demand from a man traditional qualities that he take care of you, that he provide, that he give you everything you want, 
And in return, all you have to offer them is attitude and headaches and stress. Filipinos, Filipino women, we are not even aware that you have this dating politics in the West because it's not happening here. We women here don't feel that way because dating here is completely different compared to the West. Dating in the Philippines is more straight and that is our culture. Men who long to feel wanted and be the men they should be, leaders, protector, provider, go overseas to find women who can actually make them feel like the men they should be. Who are the women who can make them feel a real man, a feminine and nurturing woman who still believes in taking care of their partners, struggling with their partners to bring out the best or potential in him, taking care of the house and making food. The only reason an Asian woman would marry you is because of the prospect of a better life. You go find a wife in the Philippines or Thailand or wherever these places are that are overseas. They're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity. And that in, in and of itself is racist. Where's the sisterhood backing each other? Do you see how quick the claws come out? The bitterness, the seething anger that men are leaving and finding happiness elsewhere where there are greener pastures. So they have to deal with the attitude. They have to deal with the delusional entitlement and the demands. None of that. They find women that are still submissive and happy to raise children and join in a union with a man lifelong and not use them as a walking wallet. Something that is the complete opposite of what they got sold here in the West, that they should be strong, independent boss babes. And now you're a quote, wall mom. So post wall mom triggered that passport bros are finding happiness in foreign lands. Isn't that wild? Because she can't do the same, right? This is where it goes unfairly for them. She can't go overseas as a post-wall mom and get herself a man to take care of her. Doesn't work that way. She'll be financing a bum at best. Uh, skill stat, I make six figures, six one, not ugly. How the F am I single? Yeah, because in the West, women in reality aren't mixing too well. What they see on Instagram is their reality, and that's not the real world. So a man with stats like six figures and six feet tall, that's already like a one percenter, and just those two alone, doesn't qualify for them. Not on the radar. You're not a Pagani bro. You're a bug sandwich bro. Opportunity. You may or may not be able to speak English properly. And, and if you want to call us uneducated and poor, that we will get any opportunity we can get just so we can get out of poverty. Men are supposed to be providers, so they are going to provide for their future partners and family. The bottom line is, we have what they are looking for. I don't understand where is the rage from these women coming from. Why are they even surprised their men leaving when they are the one who is causing it? You're just pissed because I'm educating women to wake the f up and raise their standards. No, I'm gonna teach women to wait. And guess what, when, when it, ladies, I didn't meet my man till 34 and I would have waited until I was 64. Okay, for all of my girlies who are considering their first hook phase, do it. Be a bitch, honey. Be that bitch. Be a boss. So when you go hook up, you need to see it as sex and you're out. I was always so curious, you know, what it would be like to really get beaten by someone in a sexual way. It's see you later season on to the next because there are men literally everywhere. Rotational dating in my life means that instead of me having one partner, I currently have five mini partners. We are doing dinner. You're gonna pick me up. We're gonna come to the restaurant. We're gonna see your table manners. We're gonna see what you order. We're gonna see, do you hold your chopsticks correctly? We're just gonna, you know, study you a bit. I ended up hooking up with him on the beach and realizing that's a public place. But later that evening, I went to a party and I ended up hooking up with two other people. Judge me if you want, no regrets. We're gonna talk about cheating and how to get away from it. There's three major reasons why monogamy is- I also strongly believe- Do you see the indoctrination in the West? The perfect little compilation to encapsulate the mentality Western women have towards intimacy, the institution of marriage, and men in general. It doesn't get any than that. You have literally no reason as a man here in the West to get married to anybody like that. They tell on themselves, you can see them from a mile away, go overseas, find yourself a traditional feminine woman, and don't deal with any of this shit. Or if, you have that, if that's not an option for you, then by all means, brother, you're going to have to search needle in a haystack to find something similar in the United States. Because at this point, that's what the culture is perpetuating. That is what you see in the mainstream media. That is all over Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. Movies, shows, wherever you look, that's the message you find today. 
men are useless. Women are talking about pumping and dumping men, having a rotation now in a roster, and they think they're empowered until they freeze eggs at 35, wondering if they made a mistake or not. But they're coping so hard they can't even admit it. So crabs in a bucket, they'll tell women to do the same thing. Yet they cry themselves to sleep at night without letting anybody see the weakness, the insecurity from making these decisions. If you don't care about the quote dusties, the men that are already beneath you and can't date you anyways, and that these men are choosing to remove themselves from the dating pool and go overseas, why do you care? They never had a shot with you anyway. Why does it bother you so much to see other men happy with other women? I believe that there is a deeper reason <coughs> why men leave the West in pursuit of love overseas. And this is an absolutely the f not. Um, men are uh, searching overseas for women because these specific men want a woman who they can control 100%. Did this man just admit that he went to a foreign country to find himself a wife because he wants- Just look at what she looks like. Look at the haircut. Look at everything. Emotional damage. Imagine, this is the world we live in today. Guys, I want you to pay attention. Look at the, ch yeah, the chest tattoos. You've seen them automatic. Look abroad for women gentlemen. Asian women still hold traditional values. Best decision I ever made. Then- a wokey gets angry, makes a TikTok, white man goes to Asia to find with find wife with traditional values. It's such a mind-blowing concept for a wokey with short hair that cries themselves to sleep at night under neon lights, most likely, and makes TikToks like this. Clown. It's a clown show. These are people that have no identity. It's funny that in the West, we have a thousand identities, yet people have absolutely no foundation of who they are themselves. He wants somebody with traditional values, which means that he wants a slave. This is a huge red flag. The only men who like to go overseas to find a partner is men who like to prey on vulnerable women. You won't pay for a matchmaker or a lifestyle coach to help you work on finding a woman that would be a suitable partner for you but you will go to another country and pay a human trafficker or a PIMP to give you access to someone that's probably underage to exploit them in order to get yourselves off. I don't know girls, but you all sound- You don't need to exploit anybody to get yourself off here in the West. Women give it up for free. If anything, it's harder to go into a foreign land in a foreign country where you still gotta get permission from the parents to take a woman out on a date, no less, courting her still. That takes far more work than calling you over for hookah and chill, sis. Sorry. But the honest truth is, if you want sex with no strings attached, the West is exactly where you want to be. It's easy to get it here in the West. You don't value your bodies. Sounds so defensive. Hmm. Why don't you try to assess yourself first? Because in the first place, you guys are the main reason why your men are living. You are so focused on assessing what kind of women there are in Asia. I suggest you look at yourself in the mirror first. Wait. They won't they won't look in the mirror. See, here's where the sisterhood fails itself. When you look in the mirror and you see bull rings, colored hair, insecurities, an identity that gets shattered the moment it gets challenged by somebody else, and you have to compare that person to a feminine foreign woman that knows exactly the life she wants, she's comfortable in her own beauty, wants a man to take care of her, wants to take care of her own kids, that is a threat to you. That is the exact representation of the thing you should have been and is a constant reminder of what you could have had and now you had to se settle for a boyish haircut, rainbow colored hair, bull rings, and loneliness. That's a reminder of your failure. I think this, I think they are missing the point why men are going out of their country to find this quality women. They don't want to admit that they lost that femininity that they have in yep. them that they no longer want to be women that they no longer want to be a wife that they no longer want to cook they no longer want to take care of their husbands and their family they are so focused on thinking that these men are actually going overseas to get a wife they can control and manipulate a woman who is doing her job as 
a wife, as a partner who's taking care of the family, of the kids and of the husband, nurturing. We don't need manipulation. We don't need to be controlled to be, to be a woman. You know what I mean? That's our nature. That is our Perfect. instinct as women to nurture, to take care, to be feminine. But they are so focused on they feel like they are the high quality or the high, they are the high standards kind of women because they have a job, they have a career. When if you ask all these men actually about what are they looking for in a partner. On point, like looking wise, look wise. Mm -hmm. And then her personality. Smart, someone funny, yeah. someone pretty. What about your height? Height? Yeah. That doesn't bother me really. Her being nice and taking care of me. What women think matter to men actually don't. We don't care about your money. We don't care that you're independent. We don't care you are a quote unquote boss bitch. Like no one cares about any of that. Loyalty. I would need my, my woman to be my friend because I don't just want to be with someone that's not, that I don't get along with. As long as you're mellow and you're chill, I like a girl that doesn't fuck with nobody. I don't want no girl that has a bunch of thought ass friends. I don't want none of that shit. Being feminine, nurturing and taking imagined how delusional do these men sound how dare you ask for something simple as loyalty and no ho friends how dare you ask for a woman that's just chill and could be your friend also are you out of your mind that doesn't exist today we moved on this is the boss babe era i'm strong and independent i don't need you for nothing i don't need to be taking care of you blah, 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 blah. and then they cry they can't get a ring and they're collecting dogs and cats Taking care of their husbands and kids is not because they're being manipulated or taken advantage of. That is what women should be. To be feminine and nurturing. Take care of their family while the husband protects, leads and provides. I just have a message for all the people who are coming here to find a partner. There is just one thing that I want to emphasize. Do not bring your dating habits or dating culture to the Philippines because you will be influencing and teaching women here to be women you are running from. Nowadays, there's no courting. There's no getting to know one another. All people want to do nowadays is meet up. Hookup culture um, has become very toxic. Because hookup culture benefits guys more than it will ever benefit girls. Guys mainly just want sex. They rarely want commitment, but will do practically anything to get laid. Are we done pretending like that's empowering or even healthy? Just like the hookup culture. As much as it pains me to admit it, this has been happening here for a few years already. I won't deny that. You can expect the women here to be really westernized in the next 20 years. Filipino dating is gradually changing becoming more modern, especially in the touristic areas and in the big cities. For your information, our dating culture is more straight, not like in the West where you can go out and date and sleep with different people and got options. Here, no. When two people decide to date, they will start calling it exclusive. It means you're in the courting stage, means you're not allowed to engage or sleep with other women and same goes for them. So you guys come here to find a partner. We don't have relationships in the West anymore. It's just situationships. That's what we call them now. It's I have a rotation of people off, I, off my Tinder matches, Bumble matches, and the moment any sort of hardship or friction shows up in my situationship, I'm going to bounce from the next one to the next one to the next one. Men have no problem doing this. It's women who have to emotionally attach first and then play the Disney princess happily ever after dream in their head about how this is the guy they're going to marry and they catch feelings and then he just poof disappears next Tinder match. And they keep, they keep getting passed around because remember, women are only choosing to hook up with the top percentile of man. That means these men that the women are hooking up with are the very same men that they would settle down with as a first choice. Understand that? These guys are just sleeping around with women that are not their first choice. They're just getting their pipe wet and moving on. They would never settle. These are catch and release women. But the women are hooking up with men they would settle with. And they can never lock one down. That wears on you psychologically. That's why we say it's emotional damage. Rocco, I know by experience, Filipinas are one of the best. My fiance in PH has been amazing and patient. Haven't been back because of, of issues I mentioned before. Yeah. 
I feel you on that, dude. It's a world of difference. Be straight. Adapt the dating culture here. If you don't want anything to do with them, really, don't sleep with them. If you told them you are interested, then stick with them. Don't confuse them. Be straightforward. Don't break a Filipino girl's heart, especially when they are serious and sincere. They won't ask you to treat them like a queen. Treat them right, that's it. They won't ask you to take them to an expensive restaurant, to buy them expensive gifts. They are easy, so don't give them a hard time. I believe that those men that these girls hate... I may end up 35 and single, so what? ...here to prove that men are absolute go- I don't need a man! Because I hate men. I hate men so much. <laughs> all of you. Saying that men. You see that damage? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why would you ever settle down with somebody like that? A road Scholar, thanks, brother. First time catching you live, bro. Me and my 15 year old son love your work. I'm going through a divorce and my boys live with me. Tough, but realizing what it is to be a good man is keeping us strong. Preach, dude. Thank you for the support. Shout outs to your son. Don't respect them anymore, only want sex, and think women are disposable are a result of what these women have become. <laughs> we both have the same type of man. Like, we like a nasty f We like, like a f criminal. Like, Girl, you don't need no f***ing man. I do not need a man. This is projecting, guys. I keep telling you. The more you scream at the top of your lungs how much you don't need a man, it's exactly showing us how much you really desire one. If you really didn't care, didn't need a man, you would have apathy, complete apathy, no feelings whatsoever. Why are you so angry? Why are you so bitter? Why are you so obsessed with what men are doing if you don't need any of them? Dude. The amount of project, you make yourself look like a clown when you make these TikTok videos explaining to the world why and how you're coping with your decisions in life. I can finance myself, I can myself, and I can feed myself. Men either look at me as a piece of meat because of how I dress and because of like my social media. No woman. Wow, dude, it's almost like you can actually control how you dress and what you post on your social media. So men don't look at you a certain way. Fuck. Wow, dude, we're so life is so hard when I can't control my own habits and decisions. And I'm like, not responsible. Why do they keep judging me for the things I'm doing? Unreal, dude. And the infantilization of women today. Do you see what I mean? Wants to be treated like an object. No woman be treated like an object. This guy's pulling my pants down, like me against the kitchen island. And I'm like, I mean, this is fun. Yeah. The way men talk about women is super dehumanizing. Bruh. Yeah, try respecting that. Be promiscuous. You go suck that D. I don't know what happened to dating. It's just sad. It's really sad. So please don't bring your dating culture here because we are not like these women. There are some, but generally, we're not like that. Like, I mean, when they blast their naked body all over the internet, then why are they even surprised that all these men are only wanting to have with them? Object. All right, the, the one that's my favorite is, I don't dress this way for men. I don't do this for men. I go out wearing skimpy clothing, reveal my entire body for myself. What? Who are you? Come on. You're not convincing anybody with that argument. Identifying themselves massively contributing to the modern dating of men only wanting and nothing else. I have so much more to say, but it's not good because YouTube could censor it. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Show us some love, guys. This channel is called Rubaudi.